So in this video guys, I'm going to give you some really quick tips how to grow in pak choy and when to harvest them and how to harvest them so they keep growing back really fast. Pak choy is a plant that grows uh, seasonal. It's in uh, fall time or springtime. Springtime is the best time to grow pak choy. They're really good in the colder weather. If it gets too hot and it's about high 70s and with a hot sun, pak choy will get stressed out and they will bolt. Bolt means they'll be growing flower and once they start growing that yellow flower is basically the end cycle of your plant. Even if you cut out the flower you cannot save the plant so might as well if you see your pak choy is a bolting and you're growing that yellow flower pick out all the leaves from the pak choy and you could let it grow into flowers and it will give you seed so you could plant back next season or you could just pull out the plant and get rid of it and plant something in that location. You could harvest pak choy from anywhere from 3 inches to 10 inches if the leaf size my some of the leaf size here are five to six inches and stuff i'm gonna harvest them now the reason why i'm gonna harvest them right now because this is when they're really really delicious right now baby pak choy is really delicious it cooks fast and it's very tasty and nutrition when it's this point if you let them to grow out 10 inches long the plant uses a lot of energy and it takes a longer time so and then you get less harvest and then we don't know what's going on with the weather so some days if it gets really hot and then some days really cold the weather will definitely bolt this plant so it's a very delicate plant some of them i start planting in the greenhouse and some of them i plant indoor when transplanting your your pak choy you have to make sure your pak choy is at least three inches high before transplanting them if they're really small to transplant you're gonna have a hard time transplant and sometimes they're not gonna survive because after you water them sometimes it gets stuck to the soil so make sure your plant at least three inches before transplanting them pak choy grow really fast so after you seed it you're gonna see a couple days they're gonna blast off the seeds are small so make sure you have a wider container doesn't have to be deep the roots are not that big so so they could plant in shallow containers but just wide container it's best to separate them six inches to eight inches six inches is cutting it close if you're gonna harvest like me then you could do it six inches if you're not gonna harvest fast uh, i would say do the eight to ten inches separate and another thing guys if you're gonna water pak choy he stick to your routine and just make sure if it's not that hot you can water every three four days but do it in the morning time so this is my way how i harvest it i don't pull out the whole plant because the plant will still grow leaf and i still have time so i'm just gonna get out all the big leaf so that plant will use the energy into the smaller leaves so i could harvest more so this is behind of my greenhouse and i got uh, two bed back here and you could see some of them are smaller because i recently transplanted these guys i plant indoor and i transplant them outdoor i transplant them when they were uh at least these guy size right here and you could see they survive so you could transplant them now you could see the pak choy's them the leaves are pretty big they could get really big the leaves could grow big but you don't want them to waste the energy and i would not advise you guys to pull out the whole plant because if you see right here look up close we have smaller leaves are growing inside so you want to make sure what you're going to do we're going to pull out we're going to cut out all these bigger leaves you could pinch them off but if you're a beginner guys i highly recommend using a sharp scissors or a sharp pruner and basically come all the way you guys could see look we're going to show you right there see the bottom right there we're going to come all the way close as possible and just make one cut and right there see that so this is how i cut it and i forgot to bring a bowl so i gotta play this is a small leaf touch in the bottom there i'm just gonna remove it because the leaves are not gonna grow more from the bottom they're gonna grow from the middle of the crown and same thing we're gonna do so we're gonna come and cut guys cutting them out look at this rich believe all of another tip guys just make sure you wash after after harvest always make sure you wash most of your your veggie and fruit so we're gonna come there and do the same thing cut there's a bottom one i'm just gonna get get that out of there i don't want anything from the bottom and this leaf we could leave this growing because it still could grow more we have one two we have a little couple more we have three so we're gonna leave this i'm gonna leave this for a day or two more and um harvest that i could harvest that now but i, I wouldn't i will wait till it reach at least this size a little bit bigger and same thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna come right here i'm gonna cut use a pruner guys always use a pruner when you look right there when you harvest always make sure your pruner is not dull 
it's not rusty or anything and look right there so we got a bunch of leaves and what are we gonna do i'm gonna stack all of them right now over there so i'm gonna continue and do the same thing i just add recently uh compost and soil so this is really up to nutrition you could see it's moist and nice i don't need to add any water or stuff i always tell you guys after you harvest if your soil needs a little boost add fertilizer or add some water around it or if you have home compost add some home compost guys this will give a big boost and it will help your stuff growing so by getting rid of all the big leaves it benefits for us because now we could eat we got fresh uh, pak choy and now the plant will use the rest of the energy coming up from the root towards a small one and start growing that fast giving us giving us a faster chance to harvest i end up taking out that one more leaf and i took out all of that these guys are still small i'm gonna let them to grow uh two to three days more and i'm gonna do the same thing harvest whichever i can harvest from until they grow back you could see they're gonna produce they have a lot of leaves in there they're gonna produce new leaves and use more energy towards that and we have a nice little ooh, lost one there a nice little harvest and i'll show my pet pig is around waiting somewhere i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna give him one pepper oh there he is getting into the mud getting into everything so we're gonna give him a big one right pep want to test that out and pepper approves and follow these tips when growing pak choy any question guys comment below i would love to answer your question and if you're new to welcome to green tea garden we're all about growing a better home garden and please subscribe click the bell icon it's 100 percent free every time i upload a video you guys will get it right away and it might be a video you're looking for all right thank you guys so much